did not have anything really in my mind to, to have something. I just want to have a better life. And having now people from outside America, they come to America, have a build their dream life, right? But the thing is, you quickly discover that to make your dream life happen, you need to work for it. So you go with, and you think what you can do it. So I had a hair, I, I got in the hair industry because I grew up in that with my aunt owning a few salons and, and knowing all that. So fast forward years, a few years forward, I always supported local businesses, like small businesses around my salon. So I let them come in once a month or in the seasons to set up a tables, how they can represent their products and everything else. And that's why I like that we as this opportunity can share and go and set up these little tables at any different businesses and everything, all those pop-up shops, how we call it. And so I had there, but me coming from Europe, obviously I was I had at that time three salons. I did not have any intention to join any business or anything else. And there comes this cute lady, and saying she has these wraps who help to tighten and tone your skin in 45 minutes. And I'm like, yeah, right. I have a full body wraps with clay and everything else. And we need a wet room and everything else. And we know that's just overnight. You're telling me I'm gonna, you know, have these all great results. She was kind of like, okay. Then like, I think like 30, 40 minutes later, she's like, lift your shirt, we need to wrap you. So we wrapped me. Uh, 45 minutes later, I got incredible results. Uh, after two more wraps, I lost size in jeans. My thing, I wanted to wrap it to prove that it doesn't work so I don't need to speak to them again. But at the same time, when the people came in and we saw it, I saw them like, oh my gosh, it's really did work. It could work for my clients as a business owner because when you're an owner and everything else, you're thinking about money. Like you want to think something where people like it and everything else. Like if you put an extra hairspray on a, on a shelf, you need to explain why this is better than the Redken or the other one, right? But when you have something new, but no, people have not really tried it and they, it's so easy, they don't need to spend hundreds of dollars or hours to use them. It quickly, quickly, quickly escalated to that. I made my thousand dollars in less than three weeks with few parties and few events just selling the product with the cash. My first paycheck was $56 in commissions, but I made more than thousand dollars in cash. And that's what I love about these businesses. You can make cash every single minute and right now, with the with skinny brew cash, like you can make hundreds of dollars every single day selling those samples and you don't even need to go to the postal office because the company sends out for you, right? So fast forward, I joined it. I did not, at the beginning, I was thinking just to sell the product, not thinking of anything about the business because I did not have time for it, right? Then I, Kay invited me to go to, a, I think it was a North Carolina, we went to a, a boot camp. At that time, we called them boot camps. And I was listening to people's stories. There was people younger than me who are after college making more money than me having three salons. And then there was people who were like enjoying as like, so why would I not try to do this and build it up? Because all I heard but ever my aunt Karen, you know, it's just a fake name, but aunt Karen told about it. You just, you sell this for your customers. That's fine. But for business, it's probably not going to work. It was all that, you know, that limiting belief that our people told me. But I was so connected to Kay, she introduced with mom, with mom Pam, Mimi, we call it, right? And they, I said, so what do I need to do? So we started building little parties, belly to belly, and we quickly built it. Then in eight months, we did works. I was able to replace my three salon income that I paid myself. And I said, why do I need to do this? Pay seven, you know, I paid in rent more than $30,000 a month for those three locations, 30,000 US dollars every month. When here we have a hundred dollar auto ship a month to run and you can make unlimited income, right? So I decided to sell the businesses and go full time if it works. I moved back from Virginia, moved back to LA and went belly to belly. I'm a people's person, I like to meet people, I like to touch people, people who know I'm a really touchy person. And uh, I like to, um, just kind of talk and everything else. And then slowly you learn about Facebook and social media. That's how I was able to open different countries and talk customers in other places. And it's been a truly, truly, um, you know, it's not always been up. It's been upside down. It's like any business, it's whatever you put it in. But what it teach me is to grow personally much more before I never read the books. Right now I read at least two, three books a month. Listen to grow spiritually, mentally. I use every single product. I have used it. Is my I have some favorites that I use every day right now with the coffee and everything else. I drink that. I break my fast. Last year with the keto coffee and keto lifestyle, I lost 20 pounds in 30 days. 
So the products work if you use them, right? It's like with everything, it's like you can go to the, you can buy gym membership, but if you never go to the gym, you're never gonna see results, right? The same thing with our products is you need to use it. Those greens, at that time, you know, this is my, it was my personal experience and everything else. They saved my life because coming to America, changing lifestyle, I, I developed some little, you know, like a lot of Americans have, and I was able to recover from it just using by the greens because the detox, alkaline, all those fruits and veggies, you can't buy that every day in a store and use it freshly away. There's, there's a product for everything. So plus the opportunity to share with people was easy. At that time, the wraps was the best seller for us and was able to go it. And for me, I did not have fear and say, lift your shirt, lift your belly. I wrap people in, in Starbucks restrooms, in parking lots. I, I was like everywhere, just so excited to slap it on, use it, people bought it, everything else. Right now with the coffee, it's much easier. Obviously right now with what's going on, it would be kind of a little harder sell, lift your shirt in a public place, right? With everything going on. With the coffee, you can have your sample pack in your pocket and and give it to them, it's like 15, 20 bucks, make it special, however you want it. It's all up to you. You know your personality better, you build your own brand better. So you go out and talk it. And the friends I have made in this company, I've been nine years, have been approached by other, other grand, like grass breeders, whatever you call them. Yes, I love where I am. It's not every day the same, every day is different. When people say, what's your day is, it's all how you create it. Right now too, you can, sleep in work or anything else all day, or you can pick it up and say, I'm going to connect with 10, 15 people and go there. You do not need to. I feel like some beats so many times try to connect with other people and be a judge them like where they are at their point. You are building your own, how at the space you go, it doesn't matter where the other people go. This business allows you to grow every single day at the speed you want it and how you want it. If you decide you want to, you need put the gas in the tank, obviously right now nobody uses gas, but you need 20 bucks to pay for gas. You can quickly find somebody who will try the $20 skinny brew packet. You can find customers for the two for 49. That was mind blowing deal for customers. I have so many people jump on it and use it because the products really works. We call for it works for a reason. And I'm truly, truly blessed. And I took that opportunity. Even I was so skeptic, skeptical, skeptical at the beginning. And, but nobody tried to change my mind. They just showed me how it works, how to follow three step system. When I tried to reinvent that system so many times, but you always come back and saying that system there is for a reason. If we have a black diamonds who make an average hundred grand a month, every month using the same system and you are Ruby making 500, obviously you can grow and it's all up to you, whatever you put it in. And when people come into me and like when I, from salon owners and everything else is, I said, just show people what you have. And from those 10 people, one person can see the vision and it can explode your business. It's not that every single, um, every single piece needs to come together right away. You just go and do it and share what you have. And, and if people are teachable, they're going to learn from you. That's awesome. I love that. And that's wow. You know, that puts it in perspective with, you know, how much salon owners are paying, you know, monthly, the, how much their overhead is and how you can make, you know, literally a hundred dollars a month in your auto shipment and you can make, I mean, the Black Diamonds are making over 100000 a month. It's crazy to think of that, especially with what's going on right now. Absolutely. I love, I love, too, to show that, like, you know, this is a very female-dominated industry, but it's also a very female-dominated company. And I love to show the guys that are crushing it here, too. So anyone can truly do this. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what you look like. What, it doesn't matter any of that. Anyone can do it if you're coachable and you're ready to learn and you're willing to grow. Money doesn't discriminate anybody. Money likes everybody. As you're willing to go to work, it's going to come to you. I love that. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that tonight. So, okay, so we're going to jump into our next guest. I really hope you guys enjoyed his story. It's the first time I've heard it and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna, you're going to hear us all say throughout the rest of this call that, you know, this is an opportunity call. If you are a guest on here watching, make sure you get back to the person that invited you, tagged you in the live, showed you the recording, showed you the replay. Make sure you get back to them. What do you have to lose right now? You're sitting at home like the rest of us. You're not doing anything. A lot of people are out of work. What do you have to lose trying something new?
one thing he said real quick that I love before we jump into our next guest is that this company and this industry really do the personal growth side of it is like nothing I've ever experienced before, especially here, not just the industry, but especially this company, this company from the ownership down pushes you to be a better person, stronger in your faith. I mean, I've always loved to read, but since I started here, I now am reading two to three books a month. You know, that's, that's amazing. Like, and Audible, guys, got to get Audible. I'm just going to say that. We'll jump into the next guest, but if you don't have Audible, you need to learn about Audible. If you tell me you don't have time to read. Um, okay, so our next guest is a very dear, sweet friend of mine, a friendship that I only have because of this amazing opportunity. I don't know if our paths would have, we our paths would have crossed because we have a lot of very similar beliefs as mothers and, and with our children and the natural world, but this company made it cross sooner. and. You know, she's got a great story. She kind of grew up in this industry and she kind of rebelled against the industry for a while. She was a college student who joined to make an extra $500 a month. She was in uh, retail. She was a fashion merchandiser, joined this company, and now she is a boss mom of two toddler boys and she's a seven figure earner. My dear friend Kay, can you jump on here and, and share your amazing story with us? <laughs> Of course. I just text Ingus. I'm like, I just love hearing his story so much. I just, I get so warm, such warm and fuzzies when I hear him share his story. Like so many people on, on our, on our team. And of course, across the board in this company. And before I dive into my story, it's because of those life changing moments. I remember that night walking into his salon with my little tiny little bag of stuff to set up my table and him being so just apprehensive about the whole idea but falling in love with this and in the process his life literally changing forever getting his citizenship to america being super successful here in the u.s coming from latvia a former communist country i mean you guys like that like when you when people like him talk about the American dream, they mean it. It means something so deep within their soul that Ingus is now the uncle to my children. He is literally my brother. He has become my brother through this business over the course of the last eight and nine years. Like to say that his life has, has, has changed would be a massive understatement. And so I just want to encourage you, if you're listening tonight, to, to know that not only will your life change in this opportunity, but you are going to be able to change so many people's lives and you haven't even maybe met them yet. It is literally the best opportunity that you could have come across. It's such a blessing. And so I watched this business for many, many, many years from a different perspective. I watched this business as a daughter. I watched this business as my mom's cheerleader. My mom discovered the rap and she started the company with our CEO when I was 12 years old. And she started networking when I was six so that she could be home with my other brother and I um, for many years, just so that we could still continue softball and dance and band and all the things that we were in. And she could still be home with us when we got off the bus and still help us with our homework and just be a present mom. And now as a mom, I could not appreciate that more. My, I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. And just to be able to be home and present with them is, is the biggest blessing. Thank you to this business because I look back at the 21-year-old girl that joined this business with so much gratitude because of the way that my life has unfolded in the course of the last 11 years. And so I watched my mom build this business, but like Brandy said, I was in college to be a fashion buyer. And so I have a degree in fashion merchandising and I worked in high-end retail. Um, I was really just my mom's cheerleader. I thought, I'm so proud of you, mom. I'm so supportive of you. You've done an amazing job. The lives that you're changing is incredible. But I think in all honesty, I was just super intimidated by her. You know, here was this powerhouse woman who had built this amazing company, changed our family's life. But I felt like, can I fill her shoes? Is it possible for me to step into this business and do what she's done and have people respect 
who I am at 21 years old. And my only background in sales was retail. And one time I worked at Sonic for like three months as a car hop, one time. I didn't like it. I moved on. I got a job at Old Navy and that's when I started my retail background. And so um, that was me, you know, and that's all I knew. Oh, I worked at the carnival too during the summer. I sold ice cream and apple dumplings, okay, in the summertime. And I did that so that I could make a lot of money in a short period of time. So I've, I guess I've always had that entrepreneurial spirit in me, um, but until I saw this business working for myself in my life, I didn't, I just was so supportive of my mom. But what happened to me was that I walked in and we're in a very similar time. So I want you guys to all kind of think about right now, the energy of the time that we're in, the feelings that are going around. You might then have been furloughed from your job. Maybe you've been laid off. Maybe you have family members that have been laid off. I mean, I'm sure you know one person who has, I mean, come on, we're in a crazy time right now. So think about the energy of the time right now. I walked into my, my boutique one day in the middle of summer to look at the schedule and I was taken off, totally taken off the schedule. Like my name was not on there and I was so mad and I couldn't understand it because I was one of two employees at this boutique and I was supposed to be the manager of this boutique when I graduated college. And I'm looking at my boss going, what? I don't understand. I'm your highest sales associate. This doesn't make any sense. We have an amazing relationship. Like what is going on? And it's little did I know she couldn't afford to pay me. The economy had hit her store so hard that she couldn't afford to pay me. I, she since apologized. We're cool. But in the moment I was so upset and I went home that day and I boo-hooed cried to my mom. I called her, I lived three hours away. I'm like, you wouldn't believe what happened. Like if you have children, toddlers, you think about their tantrum, that was me. That was me. Like the, the teddy bear tantrum that we had earlier tonight was me when I lost my job, okay? And she said to me, this is the best thing that could have happened to you. And I know you don't understand it now, but you will. And so I allowed myself one day of like, that's what she always taught me, one day of just total boohoo tears. I got myself up and in that moment is when I decided that nobody was gonna have control over my future anymore. Like no one was gonna write my schedule, okay? Like me, Kay at the time Souter, Kay Dixon is gonna have control over her life, okay? And in that moment I joined. It was that moment that I said, mom, I'm in. You're gonna to have to teach me. You're gonna to have to show me. You're gonna to have to walk me through the process. You're just gonna to have to teach me what you do and I will do it. And so I joined and um, what was so beautiful about that whole process is in one year, I went from my first $91 paycheck to a five figure a month paycheck when I graduated college, I was making about $10,000 a month and I was 22 years old. And in that moment, I decided nobody was hiring that could pay me that. Nobody that could give me the time, freedom and flexibility for what I had built in this business in one year, part time. I'm talking like at 11 o'clock at night when the library was like quiet and I was finishing my studies for the day and I was following up and checking in and enrolling that part-time that biz, this business literally showed me what I could do a few hours a day, how much leverage I had. And now, like Brandy said, um, two, two babies later, my husband and I both work from home. He's able to fulfill his dreams and his career. We just built our dream home. We moved to Sarasota, Florida, so we could be closer to my parents. This business has given us so much freedom and flexibility that I just want to encourage you to think about your life right now, what it looks like. And then I want you to visualize what you want your dream life to be like. What does that look like? Is it, is it having 10 extra thousand dollars in your bank account every month? Is it right now just surviving? 
Is it having more money at the end of the month? Is it just paying off your debt? Is it when all this is over, like what vacation are you dreaming about? That's what I want you to think about. What is that vision? Because I feel like that vision for me as it's evolved over 11 years is what's kept me catapulting my business to the next level. Like the house we're in now, I totally saw this house before I lived in it, before we built it, before we found it, before we discovered it. And so just want to challenge you guys a little bit to think a little bit bigger and beyond where you are today, because what I know about the time that we're in right now, and this is what I want to share with you, because I have experienced this before. I joined when the economy crashed, but we're in a really unique time. And the time that we're in now, and I know Nina and Brandy are going to agree with me, but we are no longer in a period of time where having nutritional based supplements, vitamins, probiotics, health nutritional products, fat burning coffee that boosts your brain power is like a niche market. Everybody in like the world is going to be preparing themselves to have a strong immune system. Everybody, it is no longer going to be abnormal to have products in your pantry to support your entire family to have an immune boosting powerhouse body. Okay. We are literally changing the graph with this virus. This virus is going to do so many, I believe, amazing things for the future. But at it works, we have exactly what you need to put in your pantry so your family can be healthy. And it's no longer going to be weird. It's literally going to be the norm. It's literally going to be the norm. And so just watch, just witness it and join it because you have the products here to supply a family with what they need now. And I remember back in the day when you were super crunchy granola and weird if you ate gluten free and now everybody eats gluten free, you know, everyone knows gluten free, gluten free on every menu, even at freaking McDonald's. I'm sure. I don't know. That's, I don't even know if that's true, but I'm just guessing. But do you see what I'm saying? Like it's literally going to be the norm. And so I just want to encourage you to like broaden your perspective here. Because like drinking collagen at 9.30 at night is like everyone's kind of doing that, you know, because they're going to know the benefits. So it's just like, I see so much for your paycheck with this experience. I see so much value and benefit to not only you having an opportunity to work from home, but it goes beyond that. Like you're partnering with a company that has products that are literally going to support the lifestyle changes that are going to evolve because all this happened. And so we're going to see like a massive influx over the course of the next couple years, just because we've, we've already been here doing what we love and we're able to provide that out there in the world to all of you. So I just had to share that because like, that's, that's been like my heartbeat lately. I'm like, oh, get ready for a trend curve. It's going to be a good one. Oh gosh. Okay. I just love you and your story. And you know, just what you're saying, like, you know, you and I have a very similar background. We're, we're crazy about health and what we put in our bodies and what we give our kids. And, and we spend a lot of money on that, but what a, what a beautiful thing we have here is that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Literally you can get a container of greens for under $40. And you can get your coffee instead of going to Starbucks, which a lot of the Starbucks aren't open. People are scared to leave their houses. You can get your coffee delivered to your doorstep. We do have such amazing things right now for what's going on in the world. So I love your perspective on that. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. All right. So we will jump into our next guest and she brings the boom. I always have her, I always ask her to come on and kind of wrap everything up, wrap everybody's story into a really pretty package because she's really, really good at that. I'm going to give you a little bit about her. You know, she, I'm going to give you her stats, but my favorite thing about her, her stats are impressive, but her heart is what I love. And she is the most fearless leader that truly pushes us all to be our best. She does not do something. She doesn't tell us to do something unless she's doing it herself. 
I have to throw in here, she is a new TikTok queen who just unlocked her own code on TikTok. I'm still scared. She's edging me into that, but added now added to one of her many talents is TikTok. But you guys, she went Ruby in three hours. Ruby's the first like real rank on our comp plan. She went diamond in seven days. Diamond, just so you know, diamond is where the bonuses kick in right now. Anyone who joins right now can earn a $15,000 bonus when they hit diamond and that just goes up. There's a total of $125,000 in bonuses. She went diamond in seven days. She skipped double and went straight to triple in 60 days and presidential in 120 days. She is currently on her run to ambassador, which is the top rank in our account plan. She earned $30,000 in her first full 30 days and she's a documented seven figure industry earner. She's currently serving as number 147 income earner in our company. So, oh, Ms. Nina Moore, my mentor, I'm so excited to have you on here tonight. I'm excited to be here. Can you hear me? Yes. Hey, well, I'm sitting over here like, you're going to make me come on here after Kay and Ingus. <laughs> so Ingus and I, like, we had a whole bonding moment um, at conference where I just jumped in his, I just like, uh, what is, oh, they call it photobomb. Y'all know I'm old. I photobombed his, his pictures, videos, everything. Um, and I didn't even know your story. I had no idea that you were in the beauty industry like myself. Um, and just to hear your story, I was kind of listening before I actually um, jumped on. Paige was saying she wasn't feeling well, so I was kind of trying to be mom and entrepreneur at the same time. Um, but thank you so much, Brandy, for hosting these calls weekly. Um, and to the ladies and the gentlemen that were on here before me, your stories always inspire me. I always hear another version of Kay's story every time she talks. And she talks with such eloquence. It's like, then I got to come on here. And then Brandy like hypes me up like I'm the hype man. And now I got to a real, I've got really big shoes to fill. But, um, you know, as I was listening to you talk, especially Ingus, because, um, because I'm a former cosmetologist of 27 years, I'm, I'm over here, like my heart is beating fast and I'm fighting back tears because I can only imagine what I would be feeling like right now if I was still in the salon. And when I'm thinking about all of the people that are hurting right now, like when I think about what I had to do to take a week off from work, you know, the average person doesn't understand a, a stylist taking off from work is not an easy thing. You, you, you're kind of doing two weeks worth of work in one week. And then you're, I'm trying to make sure this volume is down. You're trying to do, you're doing two weeks worth of work in one week. And then the entire time you're on vacation, oftentimes by day three, you're thinking about all the work that you're missing. And you're thinking about all the work that you've got to make up for when you get back and then when you go back from vacation you're doing like two weeks worth of work in a week's time and there's a lot of hours like I think about my children they were salon kids and they did homework under the dryers and you know I thought that I had done it right I mean Kay I was a beautician you know I mean I was earning good money but I was still struggling but to think that now people's doors are just closed like and not not just that they're closed because there was a time when I had Paige, I was working at home at that time. We had put a salon in my basement, but you can't even do that right now. So I, my heart aches, like when I think about pastors and you know bus drivers, like school bus drivers and like all of the people that are really, really, the people that can't, maybe can't get unemployment and my heart, my heart is aching and so, allow me to take just a few more minutes than I normally would because I also, because Ingus talked a lot about the products and we often, we don't talk about the products on these calls. We talk about the money, we talk about, you know, but let's talk about the fact that I am 47. I know I don't look it, right? But I am 47, I'll be 48, May the 3rd. I had Paige at 42. Okay, I didn't know that my hair was gonna fall out like it did. My hair, fell out in clumps. Ingus, you see it with clients that come in in their 40s, they have babies, and I don't know, there's something that goes on in our hormones, and my hair fell out, right? I had heard about these vitamins, 
the hair skin and nail vitamins, but I was like, eh, they probably don't work. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm just I'm gonna figure out how to make money over here, but I'm not gonna worry about those vitamins. And I started taking the vitamins. Um, I just decided, you know what, Nina, stop playing. You've got these vitamins. Take the vitamins. And I wear protective hairstyles. So I wear wigs and units over top of my hair because I had no hair. My hair was balded enough, like I had bald, like bald patches, you guys. As a matter of fact, Brandy, every time I touched my hair, my hair was falling out. Like it was just coming out. And you can ask Paul, I would get out of the shower and I would say, oh my God, Paul, look at my hair. I would have clumps of hair in my hands. No woman in her 40s wants to lose her hair, hair that was down my back. No woman in her 20s wants to lose her hair, but you're in your 40s now, you've got a new baby, you're trying to figure out life again, I'm overweight again, now my hair is falling out, are you serious, are you freaking kidding me, right? I started using the hair, skin, and nail vitamins, you guys, and like 90 days later, um, just one of those times that I was really paying attention when I took one of my protective units off and I took my braiding, cause you know, your braid, your hair is braided underneath and I took the braids out and I was like, wait a minute. I no longer could see my scalp. I had all of this hair and now my hair is like down to my butt in the back. And all I can tell you is we don't talk about these products enough. We get on these calls and we talk about the money and the money and the money and the money, you know, but we don't talk about how network marketing and the products that we have in network marketing saved my life. Like we don't talk about the fact that this was me, you know, that, that literally that I was stuck in a 300 pound body that when I, when I decided to really take a serious look at network marketing, that I was hovering in the like two fifties. Right. And, and we call it cute. We don't, we don't talk about, we don't talk about the fact that there are people whose lives are really being changed from guess what, from products that they would be using anyway. You know, the fact that, that I can help somebody, and my dad, my dad is 72. He, he texted me this morning like, I lost another pound. He's drinking our skinny brew coffee, right? He's drinking coffee, our coffee. And he would be drinking coffee anyway, Kay. And now I'm like, dad, switch your coffee out. I'm not asking you to do anything different. You drink coffee anyway, drink my coffee. He texted us the other day. He said, I'm down two pounds. He texted me this morning, down another pound. At 72, when you're not out exercising, when you're, when, you know, you're, you're sitting at home and you're losing weight, you wanted to lose weight, you're not gaining weight during this quarantine, but you're losing weight off of something you're gonna drink anyway. So it just makes sense that now I can offer someone something that doesn't change their lifestyle, right? I can think about all of the, the, the nail salons and the, the lash salons that are shut down right now that they can offer their clients an alternative. We can make an adjustment so that now you're still earning some income and you're earning residual income because the moment that I stepped away from my chair, I was no longer earning income. I was earning linear income where I had to trade dollars for hours. And now I get to sit here. And today I built a whole, I'm so mad at my son for buying that doggone Lego set for Paige that took me two hours to build with her. But I got to build this trolls Lego set with her working from my cell phone right here from our island. I didn't miss a beat. You know, I still was able to, to communicate with prospects it's not pulling me out of my norm. I'm drinking coffee, which I would do anyway. And now I'm getting paid for my consumption. Like, like it just makes sense. And now I'm drinking a coffee with benefits because when you're almost 300 pounds, when you're, when you're almost 300 pounds and you're suffering with depression and you're feeling like there's some days you don't want to live, you don't ever want to go back to that. So don't you ever let someone that, that is struggling with their weight tell you that they feel good. They don't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good at a size four to think that I might be a size six, right? So it definitely doesn't feel good at a 24 to not even wonder if I can even fit any clothes in the store that it's going to take me longer to find my clothes because I've got to shop at certain stores because there were only certain stores that had my clothing. So this is not just about money. And I don't even know why the heck I'm over here with these products and I'm crying and I'm boohooing, but this is not just about money. This is about the fact that real people need our help right now. And I'm gonna tell you something, the stress level is so high for people right now. Why am I crying that I don't know what I would be doing without my confianza? I don't, 
like we're, we're not talking about these products enough and we're so focused on um and granted the money is so good i made thirty thousand dollars in my first 30 days where did i do that at legally right but the fact that i've got products that literally literally are helping me get through a day get through a day because the reality of it is is that oh come on you're worried and every time you know what we were walking through the parking lot of whole foods yesterday brandy i went to go get like some some real food like vegetables and stuff like that right because i don't want to keep eating all that bad stuff and we're in whole foods parking lot and we're watching everybody in their masks and i said paul i don't like this this feels like a movie what i'm watching it feels like a movie they don't even let you in the stores anymore so don't be reactive let's be proactive let's build our immune system let's do the things right now you know what i'm gonna tell y'all something i've been home waist training right because when i come out of this quarantine y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing right because i'm gonna be my best version of nina moore at the end of this quarantine because i will not gain a quarantine 15. i will feel good i will look good and i want you all to know that there is nothing wrong with wanting more there is you do not have to be ashamed for wanting more money for wanting better health for wanting better skin for wanting more hair for wanting to help more people for wanting to give more to missions for wanting to be a blessing to your church for wanting to give to some single mom who's struggling right now that maybe can't even buy pampers for their child there's nothing wrong with wanting more. And that is why we're so grateful that we've got more bonuses and we've got ways for you to earn income right now. We've got ways for you to earn income next week. We've got ways for you to, we've got a young lady that just earned $5,100 last month from selling samples and she didn't mail one sample off. We've got people on our, in our company that just gave themselves a $400,000 pay raise in 30 days. In 30 days, in the time of our lives when things are so uncertain. What I am certain about, here's what I'm certain about, is that opportunity always rises when crisis arises. Opportunity is the greatest time. And so in 2008, when we had the real estate crash, the stock market crash, that's when network marketing went boom! Right? And Forbes has already predicted that 79 million people will have to work from home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your time. If you're listening to this information right now, this is your time to take control of your health, to take control of your finances, to take control of your peace, to take control of your mind, to take control of your future, to leave something behind for your children and your children and your children's children. This is the time right now. If you're scared, do it anyway. No experience necessary. I don't even have a college degree. Hello. I don't even have a college degree. I, I don't, I hate it, man. But you best believe I know how to add my money. Right? I hated math. I sucked at math. I was awful. But I am telling you, you could come from Yale, you can come from jail, because we've got people that have done that too. That network marketing is the most forgiving profession in the entire world. And that is what I love about it. That the average person, that if you believe that you can win, you can win here. Now, if you believe that you're not, guess what? You're right. So what you believe is going to manifest. Will you be the next success story? Will you allow this to be $99 to be the keys to your freedom? Or will you allow $99 to put you in jail? We're gonna give you some incentives to get $50 in product reward credits back when you join us, when you partner with us, because that's what you're doing. You're partnering with people who care about you. You're, you're creating a community of people you're creating a sisterhood, a brotherhood, a family environment. Maybe your family environment is toxic right now, but what you have here with It Works Global is going to be the place where you can finally rest your head and say, I have found a home. And so get back to the person that invited you here and tell them that this girl was on there snotting and crying. She was talking about she lost her hair and she is fat and, you know, and all of those things. And she didn't, go, she didn't have a degree and all of that stuff. And talk about the fact that Kay has, oh gosh, she's got such a sweet spirit. And I'm coming to her house and I'm going to spend the night. They, they don't even know. I'm inviting myself to their house, right? And I didn't even know that my brother Ingus was a, was, is a hairstylist. So I'm telling you right now that he's not worried about his future. He's not worried about his present because he has this gift of it works global someone's offering you a gift tonight and only a fool 
only a fool would reject the gift of opportunity that we're offering you tonight. Thank you so much, Brandy, for having me. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, Ingus, for um, being on the call with us. I'm going to throw this back over to you because I just need to go get a tissue now. <laughs> wow. I mean, you've got us all like teary -eyed. We were crying on a Zoom last night. We did a virtual birthday party. You've got us crying tonight. Wow. There's not really much more for me to say. I adore the three of you. I'm so thankful you guys were on here and sharing your stories and sharing your hearts. And, you know, like we've all said, if you're a guest on here and something spoke to you, get back to the person that invited you. Take a chance. You know, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So take a leap of faith. You, this is the best time in the world right now to try something new, to work on yourself. You know, like Nina said, I'm, I'm working out six days a week. We're doing yoga. We are all here focused on coming out of this crazy crisis that we're in, the best versions of ourselves, building our business and helping our teams be the best versions of their self. So join us on this journey. Get back to who invited you. I'm going to go snuggle with my little one. She's probably half asleep. I hope you all have a, an amazing night and just thank you again, guys, for being on here. I love you guys.